Hey fam bam, welcome back to our channel. We decided to do a mukbang, mukbang, however you say these. Yeah, we're gonna do that and just talk to you guys. We have a couple of new family members who have joined the fam bam. So we just thought we'll do a mukbang and um, just talk, let you guys know new things been going on. We were gone most of 2019. We didn't really uh, tape that much. You really just put that in front of my baby's face? Oh, uh, that's yours. Okay, thank you. He's doing a muk bottle. Yeah, he's joining us. Chick-fil-A or Popeyes? Oh Which gosh. one do you like? I do not like the Popeye sandwich. Don't anyone know for me in the comments? I'm I don't know. I feel like I'm the only person because everyone just really loves it, but I do not like it. It's too salty, <laughs> too greasy for me, for my taking. But some people love it. First thing I'm sure people have noticed is the name change. So it used to be Ashley's Bringing Family In, and we just recently changed it over to D N A vlog and that stands for Derek and Ashley. He wants to be more involved in the channel. When I first started it was literally just me doing it. You gotta show them what you're eating too. Oh, yeah, um, I, I mean well they don't know. So I got Focused. I'm very Focused. hungry. I ate a little light breakfast this morning and then we went walking. Who was here when you uh started your first uh, video? No, oh, I know. They weren't that how many I've how many of y'all are still here from the first video? <laughs> Huh. Yeah, I used to literally inside. I don't know if people noticed it, but how I was taping was literally just walking around with a laptop. We didn't even have a camera yet at that time. I was literally doing it from our laptop. <laughs> so I got the six piece nuggets and a chicken sandwich. And I like the Polynesian sauce. What sauce did you get? I don't know. They just gave me a sauce. Oh, that's Chick fil A sauce. Ugh, I don't like Chick fil A sauce. Chick fil A? But yes, I got, I, this is my favorite sauce that they have. And I should have two, yes. One for my nugget, one for my sandwich. That's an update though, or name changing. And then another is, of course, Pops here. He's a new addition. We really have planned. Yeah, I should have got two. I'm already I told done. You. I told you. And then I'm about to just leave out this mukbang. No, you're I'm not, because you're not even talking. Yeah, so we did. You're doing all the talking. Because I don't want to just be sitting here staring at a camera. If no. I don't talk, you're not going to say nothing. I'm we're all day. I can't even get a word in. Okay, go. I'm busy eating. Derek, stop. Okay, <laughs> so our plan was, once I found out I was pregnant and stuff, we were, we were like, oh, this is our first boy. This will be the last baby. I want to make sure this all gets documented. And... <laughs> I just was really tired and stuff while pregnant and so we kind of fell off. So when we found out at the ultrasound that he was a boy, how'd you feel? Finally, it was a relief. I, uh, honestly though, I still didn't believe it. Uh, yeah, he didn't believe all the way know, up till birth. I still didn't believe it. Maybe we'll insert the uh, sonogram. Don't put that on my bed like that. I don't want to put it on his thing. Actually, I don't want to put this thing on. Huh. Um, but, so, I was, like, happy. I wasn't too shocked because I kind of felt he was going to be a boy anyway. Like, to actually hear it was like, oh, my God. Like, this is really I happening. felt they were all going to be boys and then, you know. But it's still kind of crazy to me. I just stare at him all the time. Why? Because he looks like me? No, because he's a boy and he's here and I have a son. Oh, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll get out. The baby is growing. So big. He's just getting big. He is two months now. He goes for his two-month appointment in a couple of days. And he's going to get his shots and stuff. I'm so, like, nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like, the same shots the girls got. But it's just different. It's like there's only one of him. <laughs> so, I just, I'm like that with everyone. Like, don't hurt my son. I only have one. He was born at 10.54. In the morning, October 27th, he was 8 pounds, 11 ounces, 21 inches long. The labor was just like, it was crazy. That night, or is it early that morning? I don't even know. I don't even know. I think early that morning. Okay. Um, yeah, early that morning, like around 1 or so, started to get cramps. I never have actually gone into natural labor, so I didn't really know what, like, um... Gary, come on, no. Oh, I can't have none? No. Oh, that's what we doing now? Yes, because I kept telling you, get enough food for yourself. <laughs> I got exactly what I wanted. I'm going to eat it all. But oh. what was I saying? Derek, you just made me forget what I was saying. 
shots. No, it was not just my shots. Oh, so then, yeah, so that morning I started like cramping. I was feeling like cramps. And I was like, okay, I'll just wait. And then it's just like getting stronger and stronger. So I called Kaiser, but I'm talking to Kaiser like I'm talking to you guys right now. And so they were like, um, mm, doesn't sound like you're in active labor. You don't sound like it. And I'm like, what, what does that mean? You know, so I'm telling them like, yeah, I've done all of my five daughters, natural, no epidural. I've been induced for all of them. So my pain tolerance might be a little higher. I don't know what you want me to sound like, but I'm just saying time. I was having the contractions like about every between like three to five minutes they were apart they were lasting they were intensifying so all those things were and they were like well i mean we can't tell you not to come but we don't think you're in labor so that's like we're leaving it up to you so i was like derek we should just go you know just to be sure and they kept me i was in actual active labor for about what two three hours Right, they allowed me to like try to like go into labor by myself. The contractions only got so strong and then they weren't, I mean, they were getting strong, but nothing was happening. So then they wind up giving me the Pitocin and what, within an hour, two hours maybe of the Pitocin, I was like, start saying like, we usually know it's close. Like what would I start doing when it gets close? Like we know the babies are about to come. She got a boo-boo. I did not say that. <laughs> what do I ask for? I'm like, what do I do? You be like, all right, let me just get the medicine. <laughs> yeah. Just give me the medicine. <laughs> I start asking. And then I was like, all right, yeah. It's all the... And she acts like she don't remember <laughs> no, nothing. No, I guess... I don't I'm, know that I mean, part. this ain't our first rodeo, well, no, but I every was, time... I feel like, no, same. this time I was way more in tune to my body. This time... Because I had to keep reminding you... Kirk, you yeah, were asleep. you did the same He thing. was asleep, but... Well, because I have to keep up tradition. <laughs> Anyway, he was asleep, but yeah, I, I, I was a lot because they weren't even going to check me. And I was like, can you guys check me? And it's like, we don't want to keep checking you. And they had, the last time they had checked me, I think I was at like four or five centimeters. And I'm like, can you please just check me? Like, I feel lots of pressure, lot, you know, and so she's like, oh, your water bag is right there. I'm like, just break the water bag. <laughs> Like, I was just so over it. I was telling them what to do, pretty much. And yeah. Right she just really me. just squirts them out. Wow. Yeah, then he and just, then, like, uh, came out. Just came. But at least he got to eat all that placenta. Yeah, Derek. Got that good, yummy nutrients. Asked them to keep the umbilical cord. Now Ashley cord. wants to get him uh, them, uh, that poison. Oh, my gosh. Them poison shots. He's not for shots. Yeah. I'm for some shots. I, the kids don't get every single shot. They don't get the flu shot. But I do think that... Shots are important. Derek, mm. not so much. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's what I was just telling you guys about. He's about to be due for his first actual real set of shots. Um, the girls usually did get fevers and a little cranky, almost like cold <laughs> symptoms after they got their shots. So I'm expecting that. Actually, we were just at CVS and I should have got the infant Tylenol. I want to make sure I already have the infant Tylenol so he doesn't have a fever and then we got to go to the store. Because we don't really give our kids a lot of medicine when we usually need it. <laughs> Whatever we have is expired. Like, it's just never, <laughs> it's never good anymore. So, you guys have to run and get it. Yeah, but it's a blessing having uh, this little boy around. It is. He already it's, has a uh, It's different. Yeah, it is different. You know, and he's super uh, alert and active. It seems like he already holds conversation with us, and we ask him questions, and he's already saying yes and no, and you know it's weird it's like because they say huh oh i knew you was gonna make me fun. they say that boys you are like act like a butt they say that boys develop like it's like slower or something than girls like i've heard that like but i feel like he is actually he's advanced yeah like he's, he's pretty a, advanced. oh well i guess they're all alert until they get them damn shots but oh my gosh I've, yeah they gave you a FD, uh... Oh, you didn't have that? Bigger chicken sandwich, I mean. You didn't, yours wasn't big? No, you see, I'm done already. Well, no, because you just eat like that. Wow. He was gonna do... Bro, he wanted I should have did, did a Popeye's. No, that line's crazy, always. I knew it. I should have did a Popeye's. Yeah, he was gonna go get a Popeye sandwich. And he's like, well, how about I did a Popeye sandwich? And a Chick-fil-A sandwich and compare it. And I'm like, Derek, that's kind of old. No one's doing that anyway. <laughs> Talk about, like, where you where you see this going. You know, why do we come back? And why do we change the name? Why are you wanting to be more involved? 
we got a, a lot of uh, 2020 visions going on, a lot of goals that we want to set, a lot of we want to brand ourselves within our audience, you know, and you guys supporting us within everything that we do. Just uh, be on the lookout for all our new merchandise and uh, be ready to uh, start buying some stuff from us. We will all be selling everything. <laughs> no, this is good. You know, it's always good to look back at old videos and see the growth that we have, you know. Now it's just uh, trying to get paid from this. Yeah, we're not going to sugarcoat it. I mean, if people no. uploading and they upload hey, consistency, hey, that's, so, the, that's the goal. <laughs> I'm so pretty you know, sure. <laughs> what is it? One ninety nine. You can subscribe. <laughs> <Girl>. <laughs> subscribe to us. Stop. No, I'm just playing. Shoot, we, we say drop a comment. Nobody drop. <laughs> no, people can comment. They don't do nah, that. They nah, have nah. been. It's just fun. Fun to see the memories. Building a whole bunch of good memories with... with uh, The girls love it. With everybody. Right. We're just here for positivity. Good vibes. Nothing. Uh, there ain't no drama. We ain't gonna share no drama, no none that's of that. What not, that's one thing, yeah, you will never find it on our channel. Um, we ain't with that. I so. do want to learn how to start at least still filming because honestly, a lot of times when we do, like, you just don't see us for a while too. We might be going through something within our personal lives or whatever. And I'm a very, like, closed off person usually. I don't like sharing a lot of stuff. So... I, but I'm also a person where, like, if something's wrong, you'll see it all over my face. Like, it's just not, you're going to be like, dang, like, something's irritating her. She's mad. And so I just, like, will not get on the camera and do this. But I need to learn how to, you know, make a bad situation into a good situation, positive situation, and bring that positivity into the channel during those times. Those should be my grind hard times. We're having hard times and that just means go harder and you know, whatever we're thriving for or striving for. And I just need to learn that. That's one thing I definitely want to be able to do in 2020. Things get rough or whatever. Stick stick to it. Stick to consistency, you know? And yeah, that's all life. it is, is just being more consistent with it. Yeah. You know? And just having the same mindset, understanding that our goals is always going to be the same. And we just have to keep uh, being consistent. Just live happy, you know, every second. Because life is so short. So all this is a, a blessing to even be a part of and do, you know. Yeah. And to share with you guys. Other than that, shoot. We're just here to uh, uplift and, and uh, you know, hopefully make your guys' day brighter. Try and sh spread some joy to everybody. And the people are curious about, like, large families and how they work and how they... Oh, and yeah, and really, I just think that, you know, this family thing and them raising kids and all that, ain't nobody better than us right now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> all our kids and then all the, the homeschooling, taking them to school, raising them. And other then, people do it. Setting them, nah, they don't do it as dope as us. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> they kids ain't that's as dope as stop. ours. Do not say you know? that. No, but that's, you know, but I, I would hope that as a parent, you would feel the same way within yeah. your family, yeah. you know? I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but I do have that confidence in our family. Yeah. As you guys should in yours, you know what I mean? I, I'm not trying to throw no shade towards anybody. I'm just trying to uh, show that, you know, there's a fine line between cocky and confidence, and I'm just confident that the stuff that we do is something that can uplift and help others, you know what I mean? Because we, that's what we do best, you know, other than anything else, raising kids and, and having a large family and doing that, man, hands down, we're number one. But that's just my opinion, you know, everybody has their own. If someone said, you guys aren't that great, you know, or good parents or whatever you got. Of course, we could always do better. It's always, you know, it's a, a life is a learning experience. We just have to be humbled enough to cherish every moment, and that's all it is, you know. And I'm and I'm just happy to be blessed to raise a family within, you know, having good health and living day to day with a positive mindset, and you know, have the confidence within your family too as well to say you guys are dope. You know, everybody's number one. Life isn't a competition. It's only a competition with yourself. No, don't compare yourself to anybody else because the grass isn't always greener but cherish the moments that you have who is around you and right now I'm heck of like thinking what the score is to the game because uh, the game is on so 
the football game. Yeah. Playoffs, so we're like, almost uh, done. We're done eating. So, but we just wanted to come in and like just sit down with you guys. And also, this is your first video you're clicking in on us, you know, or because some people are new. So we have five girls, and then we just had our first baby boy. So our oldest daughter is uh 14. Uh, Lord. Our oldest daughter is 15. She will actually be celebrating her sweet 16 this year. And then we have a 13 year old, almost 11 year old. She'll be 11 in February. And six year old, four year old. Those are our girls. And then Pops here is two months. So yeah, those are our kids we have. We do homeschool. Our two oldest daughters, one is in high school, one's in middle school. They're both homeschooled. At one point we were homeschooling all of the kids, but I had to honestly be realistic with myself as myself as a mom. And it was a lot for me. So the elementary ones are in elementary school. And then once they get into junior high, they will also become homeschooled. We are a single income household. I just say that just to so like, you know, that's something I want to be able to share on this channel and show that it is possible to be a large family you guys you know you have to sacrifice some things but we do make it work yeah, um, and uh that's the thing money will come and always go it's just don't stress on anything in life and nothing's that big enough to stress material things isn't yeah. nothing to stress about but always strive to be happy and that's the thing live day to day be happy take steps into accomplishing your guys's goals and and that's what we want to do you know but uh what was i gonna say I don't know. That's just a little of us, our backstory for people. This may be your first video clicking into, or, you know, you may just be new. Our videos go all the way back to when our middle daughter, who will be 11, was five years old. We actually started our first vlog on her birthday. So that's the anniversary of our channel. Well, the birthday of our channel is always on February 13th with her. As well as, uh, you know, just protect your energy. <laughs> Yeah, just wanted to like check in with you guys, update you guys on us. If you guys have any other questions for us, leave them down in the comments. You know, we're always, we, I try to comment on every single person. Um, if it's not actual a comment, I will like it at least if I can't think of something to say back to you. Because sometimes people just say something where it's like, okay, it doesn't really need an answer from me but i will like it or acknowledge it that's something i want to always strive to do thank you guys so much for clicking into this video and eating with us we will see you guys in the next video we upload mondays wednesdays and fridays at 11 a.m protect your energy <laughs> bye if you haven't already subscribe be sure to like share and comment and comment guys we want to see hear from you guys all right bye